before I came down to, uh, to the plenary, I received a letter which was described as an urgent from the Uganda Broadcasting Corporation. I want to read it. It was written to the speaker, looking for support to TV live broadcast of AFCON. We write request for support for the rights acquisition to broadcast the 2019 AFCON in which the Uganda national football team, the current, will participate from June 21st to July, July 19th, 2019. AFCON is the biggest tournament organized by the Confederation of African Football every two years, with the biggest youth demographic football audience. This age group follows European, African, and domestic leagues with obsessive passion. UBC engaged AUB in a negotiation which was concluded with a final offer of 350,000 euros, earning a 53% discount from the initial offer. The offer includes 101, uh, 340 euros on outstanding subscription. Apparently, we have something in the background. UBC is required to pay euros 248,660 for the rights of the 10 tournaments as it clears the outstanding dues. The purpose of this letter is to request your office to lobby government for 300,000 euros, clearance of the past dues, and the 2019 rights fees for the live broadcast of the tournament. We thank you in anticipation. This is from the MD of uh, UBC. So our, our broadcast, the national broadcast, are desperate to permit Ugandans to watch their children. You know, we have been here saying, please do well, you must go, go to the finals. Now they are there. Now they were the chica in, in Vinyoni. <laughs> we will not be able to watch. Yes, Minister of Finance. Madam Speaker and Honorable Colleagues, it is uh, obvious that we will support the UBC to broadcast live our team. So there's no doubt about that. The only procedure issue that uh, we are surprised that actually have not been approached uh, and they to, for, so we would encourage the Minister of Education and the Minister of Information to put in the request and then we we'll work on it uh, urgently rather than the UBC moving uh, around in members of parliament bothering, yeah, it is sports, sports, yeah, Minister of Sports, thank you. So we have our for confirmation that when we get a request from uh, the Minister of uh, Education and Sports, working with the Minister of uh, Information, we shall work on it uh, appropriately. The Minister of Education is here. Uh, yes. Playing football, for example, is a sport. But broadcasting that sport is business. The UBC is a corporation that does business. When you broadcast a football, the football match, you attract advertisers. Before you see that you come to Parliament to the Speaker, it would have gone to the potential advertisers. One billion shillings, if you broadcast the whole of AFCON, it would multiply by 10 if you got money from advertisers. So the good thing the Minister of Education is here, uh, is as well in charge of sports. Before even the Minister of Finance requests for inquisitions of whichever, UBC isn't it in charge? I mean, isn't it a business corporation? When you broadcast football, don't you get money? What I can only inform you, the TV rights are only about AFCON. Is not a Ugandan competition. Even if you qualify, you cannot get it free. There is a TV that got rights, and you can just sublease from that TV. But it is a business that UBC can transact and get money, its own money, even not using any other budgeted item. Ugandans are waiting to see their boys play. If it's just a matter of generating a request, that can even be done before we leave Parliament today. <laughs> but I'm not very sure, right Honorable Speaker, whether broadcasting using our television is a responsibility of the Minister of Education. I strongly feel that if anything is to be generated, a request is to be generated 
it has to be done by the ministry responsible for UPC. The business belongs in the office of the Minister for ICT, so the Minister is directed to immediate report and requisition so that the Ministry of Finance can uh, facilitate. This is not much money, but Nagi. It's not. <laughs> Can we have a feedback tomorrow when we convene? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. The Ugandans must watch. We raised the matter. The matter has been raised in the House. And it's good enough, the, the Speaker directed, and the Minister of Finance also said, no, the Ugandans must watch. So I think the onus now is on the Minister of Information, Education, to write the requisition, such that that money is paid, such that the subscription the UBC is supposed to pay must pay. But also UBC should stop running here all the time. Because they're supposed to make money out of the advertisement in this thing. So, so they should be able to do that. But also, they don't even need the money to pay this thing up front. They should just make a commitment that they're going to pay the money. And you're going to watch because the match is starting just barely tomorrow. The other is going to, be start, to, to start. So that, that is what. But we also want to wish the Ugandan, the Uganda cranes success in, in, in this tournament. I hope all the Ugandans will rally behind. I ask all of you to, to join and, 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 and see how to get there. We, some of us are planning to see how we can be able to get to Cairo. Maybe by tomorrow, by Saturday we shall be there. Well, I think whether this should have been done earlier or not, the fundamental point is do Ugandans deserve to see how their team is playing, especially given the fact that in a, in a row now, the second time we are, since 78, the second time we are appearing in the competition of the pride of the continent, that is uh, uh, Confederations of African a competition. So I think we must actually help UBC in all ways. One, to secure the right or to relay the matches live. But also not only that, where funds are needed urgently, I think uh, Parliament should ensure that the Ministry releases money to, to enable to UBC to relay the match so that the villagers deep down there who want to see their players, their team play, are able to watch the game. The other thing is, I think, government commitment, sometimes when it comes to sports, is questionable. We, this is what we should have thought of much earlier, and government should have, ought to have known that uh, AFCON is coming. With AFCON coming and we're represented, there's no way we can play in darkness, or we we have to pay expensive subscription to other TV stations and so on in order to watch our own game when actually we, we have our own biggest uh, uh, service provider in UBC. So that's also another, another, another disappointment sometimes with government, but all is not lost.